Anyway, Dad wanted me to put it down here. Oh, gosh. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is March. It's not February. It is March 31st, uh, Thursday. Storms roll through. It's pretty nasty. Thank goodness we didn't have any uh, damage that we know of right now. As far as uh, where I was last night in Montgomery, it was, man, it hit really hard about 12 o'clock, 12.30. As far as we know, we're good to go. I uh, hope everybody else is good to go too. Because uh, it was, uh, like I said, it was a very, very strong storm. So they predicted that one right. Uh, rain, we got, as far as I know, about three quarters of an inch. Pretty much everywhere to an inch. Uh, we're going to load up right now. We're going to head to Gray Rocks. Uh, we're going to do some stuff to the planter. Dad's got an issue he wanted to fix. And uh, as far as the row gator and stuff, we'll grease up everything. We got some grease tubes, got some Schaefer grease. So we'll be using the Dewalt grease guns and uh, get everything greased while we're over there, check everything out best we can, and uh, then we'll move on. That's all I know right now, so let's get this video started. So uh, we're, while we're over there, we're still working on our filtration system that's going to go on the uh, micros, the strong soil solution that we're going to put in Furro. We got this filter system made up. Now we got to make it join to the uh, 250 gallon shuttle. Anyway, we got to make it join to it and make it join where we can hook on it quick with a quick banjo coupling uh, where we can pump it in the tractor. All I know is Dad told me to find a one-inch hose that'll reach from there, coming off the ground, into the tank. So, anyway, he's got a plan, and uh, that's all he's told me so far. Yeah. Nothing on this side. I guess I hate to get there and it don't work. This is good right here. We can all reach it out. Mm. Where is it? I got it in my pocket. Then it goes there, and the hose that goes there. There's a hose plant we can rob. What's hooking here? That's your coming, you take your meter off and screw it into there. But I don't know if that's the size. Do you, do you know if it's three quarter or one inch? Mm -hmm. I better get a bushel. I can get a reducer. You need a one inch to one to three. One to three. That's it. Half inch. Okay. Well, a little more. Wait a minute. No, three quarters of an inch. Yeah, that's what we got at Benham. Yeah, that sounds about right. Did y'all have any damage? No, no, it, it wasn't, wasn't bad at all. Good, good, uh, good. Yeah. yeah. Um, you mean he empty it? Sure, yeah. Okay. And I'll write it in my book right now. Three quarters an inch. <laughs> I like the concrete block. 
put this in the armrest. He's got something wrong with his planter. I'm not sure what he's got. I think a scraper or something is missing. Um, we'll figure it out. See what? You hear that train? That was from Ed Benning. That train? Yeah. Sound right like? across the river. So what you got going on here? The scraper. Must have hit a stick or something and it knocked it off. Ugh. It's your finger. There we go. Strong spring. You screw this into this. We're not gonna do it now, but I can go ahead and glue it. And then this will go into here. And then you put your hose on. And then the hose will go from there into your tank. In your tank. You have no valve or anything. No. Uh -uh. Tell him how you're gonna filter it. He's gonna be on the pumping side of trying to filter it. I was gonna be on the suck, sucking side, but. Gonna be on the positive side. So we're going to use the pump off that shuttle right there. We'll hook to our other shuttle. That's correct. And then you're going to unscrew this right here. Screw this meter off. And that'll go right into this part of the filter system. It'll go through both sides of these filters, come out on that end. And we'll have a hose right there, the black hose. We'll go from there and just go right into the tank so that's how we're going to filter the strong soil stuff in case there's anything in there that's going to choke up any of our lines on our planters uh, that's the worst thing you can do is choke up your planter so um, we're overdoing the filtering system just a little bit but we just want to make sure we don't choke up so i think this is going to filter it plenty air pliers air pliers Cement. That's cement and that's cement. Alright, we'll take that back home then. Now we know what to do. Well, that project is done. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing on the list is uh, my rogator right here. We're gonna uh, crank it up, pull it out here in the field, and uh, we're gonna fold the booms out. It is time to do a complete grease on this machine, do all the booms anywhere it bends and stuff, and all the undercarriage where the wheels turn and everything. Anyway, that's uh, the next thing on the list. So let's see if this baby will crank up and let's fold her out. What in the world?
take a ride. So I'm not going to bore y'all with another greasing uh, part of the video, but we're going to hit spots like right here, grease fittings, anywhere you see where it bends, boom, boom. There's one under there, one under there, uh, right in there, got one there. We got a nice bank of grease fittings right here, and then everywhere else it bends, you name it, it's got a lot of points where it bends. So a lot of grease fittings on the boom. They go all the way out where it bends right there too. So uh, anyway, let's get to greasing. I think I'm out of grease. Yep. Looked and cannot find a leak. Huh? The Ford truck. Yeah. They put Freon and dye in it, and they looked and looked and never could find a leak. He said it may be one of those things just every two years you got to charge it. So was it low on Freon or not? Oh, it was. Uh, but he said... He said, use it and be looking for a leak. Hey, I lost you. Yeah, I'm in downtown of Stonkerville. You can take it and have self-service here. Okay. I was just wondering if you ever use a sniffer, they call it. I do, but uh, I've got one. Uh, All right. Yeah, it's got a pop off. Okay. It's not going in. <laughs> Come out the top. But you didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, I said I wasn't going to film greasing the rogator, but I guess I did. Through greasing it, uh, that's the last thing we had to do down here at Gray Rocks. Um, there's one other thing I'm going to show you. In the background, you may have seen the 8285. I'll let Dad tell y'all what happened to her. And there she is. And what's the story on it? Lightning struck near here. I actually struck the tractor. It has... I thought you couldn't find where it... No, you can't. You don't really see any lightning strike, but it has gone through the electrical system, and it's... All the sensors are blown. Uh, shorted out battery. all the two batteries were burnt the uh, all the engine control banks hydraulic control banks anyway it's an insurance problem but uh gonna take a while to get fixed inexpensive yeah it's gonna be pretty expensive when lightning strikes a tractor this first one i ever had isn't it these things on the back what he was going to order? Yeah, all these banks, uh, oh, no. circuit boards, I don't know what you call them. But uh, they got to be ordered and put on. Uh, the oldest tractor's <laughs> down right now. <laughs> you still don't think we need some new tires? They'll, go, they'll, they'll make it the rest of the year. I'm going to trade this tractor probably. <laughs> Anyway, that's the story on the 8285. He has been down for a little while and gonna be down. Uh, Andy, John Deere mechanic from Sun South, he's on the job working with John Deere with DTAC, which is basically they took out a work order where he's working with the engineers at John Deere. And um, hopefully they'll get it figured out. 
All right, we're gonna take a look at our totes. This is what we're gonna mix the uh, strong soil stuff in, the microbes, and um, we're seeing how nasty the water looked after that storm we had. It's a little on top, but that ain't much. Huh? It's just a little on top. So we're thinking about going ahead and mix it, mixing this Saturday. Uh, we'll have to pour this, one bucket of this right here. This has got your microbes in it and uh, they're dormant in this bucket right now, but we'll put this bucket in this bag right here. Um, little tea bag looking thing. And then we'll drop it in there, turn the pump on, same thing, we'll put a bucket in a tea bag and put it in that one, turn the pump on. It's gotta run for 48 hours with this pump running, uh, keeping oxygen to all those microbes and stuff, keeping them alive and waking them up. And uh, after the 48 hours, which will be Monday morning, uh, then we got six hours to get this stuff out. Um, if for some reason you can't get them out, get it out in six hours, we're just trying to keep the microbes alive. We got this molasses right here. You put this in there with some uh, Crisco vegetable oil. Anyway, for, for some reason you can't get it out, you put those two things in there and that's what they kind of feed on. It keeps them alive if you need another day or whatever. But um, we're gonna get it out in six hours so we won't have to do that hopefully. But that's the plan on this. We'll be going out Monday, so I'll probably have a video on that, which will be pretty cool. So, we're heading back to the shop. You wanna drive? <laughs> Well, if you hadn't seen these in a while, these are the augers that finally go down to our grain dryer that we took out this winter. We have had these things ordered for months and months and months, going on three months. And uh, finally, we just came down here to Selman. We got this uh, welding shot to order the flighting and all. So they ordered the flighting and all they did was order this shaft and then they just welded it to it. Basically made an auger and uh, we're good to go now. So we're ready to put it back on the grain dryer and uh, finally get that thing back together. Your end goes first. For everybody that did not see us take this auger down, basically this is our wet tank right here that feeds the dryer, that's our grain dryer. Anyway, this auger goes from the bottom right here and goes all the way up to the very top of that grain dryer and that's where the seed drops in to the dryer to get dried. And um, the one we had was absolutely slap pour out. And uh, so anyway, we had to order a new one that whole fiasco and all but finally we got the augers here they're the right length and everything so we should just slide them in the pipe and bolt them up and uh then i'll be ready to dry some uh whatever we want to dry wheat soybeans corn we forgot the extra flighting This is extra that they had cut off to make the uh, right lengths. Anyway, Dad wanted me to put it down here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. 
anyway guys that is going to be the end of the video it was a little slow day today i think it's going to be too wet to plant tomorrow sun is just starting to come out uh, it's been kind of cool all day so uh planting's probably out of the picture we're going to put this auger up tomorrow and then i think i can uh, go spray one field down there it's real sandy so uh, that's what we got going on we're going to be brewing the tea over the weekend and we'll be ready to put that out monday so um anyway if you don't mind give me a thumbs up if you like the video if you hadn't subscribed go ahead and hit the uh triple r farms logo right up here and uh we'll catch y'all on the next one guys we're out see ya